you doing, everybody? Everybody having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my name is Maggie D, and uh, welcome to Alex. All right, let me explain before I start how I end up getting here. See, um, some genius decided this would be a great happy 50th birthday gift. Excellent. So I said, okay, so I go on stage in front of people I don't know and humiliate the crap out of myself. Thanks a lot, bitch. Where is she? Oh, there she is. All right, thanks, Excellent. Excellent. Now, so being Italian, I figured I'm going to get her back because, you know, that's what we do with Italians. So I booked her an all-inclusive trip cruise to Italy. Now, do we all remember what happened on the last cruise to Italy? Uh, does Titanic ring a bell? <laughs> so I figured what I'm going to do is very simple. All-inclusive trips, as we all know, is a bunch of bullshit because once you get on these all-inclusive trips, this is extra, that's extra. So by the time she's done, I figured she's going to be into it for about $18 million. Okay? Payback's a bitch, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Now, what I also did to make the trip a little better is I got rid of Julie. Now, you know Julie, the uh, cruise director that's always very happy. Hi, welcome to the cruise. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, I got to shut up. Why are you so happy? <laughs> Who's that happy seven days on a cruise? Stop it. So what I did was I replaced her with Tamika Jackson. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, 300 pounds of love. <laughs> got her extension going on. Her purposes. And the best part is she just got out of prison. Really not a happy woman. Now, what I love about her is her <laughs> mottos. Her first motto is, get your own effing towel. The second one is, I'm not getting you no drink. And the third one is, you better tip me big, bitch, or I'm going kill you. <laughs> now, turning 50 isn't so bad, because now I fought in public, and I just did it. Okay, also, I have no filter, so no matter what I say, I don't care. <laughs> Okay? Now, the last thing is, is I get discounts. Yeah, I just got my AARP. That card. AARP card? We all get some Go on, people! Go on, people! What? Now, the life insurance company is definitely going to be calling me, and now I'm going to get the cemetery people knocking on my door. They figured you're 50, you're almost dead, let's just get this over with, right? Okay. So now, getting back to Tamika, this is the best. Now, Tamika was explaining to me that she has three children. Now, their names are the strangest names I've ever heard in my life. Let's review, shall we? Okay, we have Duche. We also have Shatid. And then my personal favorite is Pajame. Now, we're going to review this, and you're going to understand why I think these are the sickest names ever. Okay, let's review. Duche, let's spell it, folks. D-O-U-C-H-E. What does that spell? <laughs> douche! It's not douche! Okay, the next one is Shati. Okay, now listen to this one. S-H-I-T-H-E-A-D. What's that? Shit hey. It's not a name. My personal favorite is Pajame. Let's do this one together, folks. P-A-J-A-M-A. -A -A. What's that? It's not a name, it's an article of clothing. It's pajama. So who names that kid? Douche, shithead, and pajama. I don't want to say pajama. Okay? A little confused. Now, a little background on myself. Um, born a crack baby, was in foster care at two years old, then got picked up by some wonderful Italian parents. Anybody Italian here? So you know most Italian fathers are out of their friggin' minds and they're cheap as shit, you know? Okay, so, let me explain something to you. My father was so cheap, he decided we're gonna go get sneakers. So to force the kids to get sneakers, Hercules, Hercules. Right? So now, we go to a place to get sneakers. Now, do we go to a regular store like everybody else? Oh, no, 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 no. We go to Bohack. Now, for you younger people, Bohack was a supermarket. All right, so there we are, aisle four. There they were, on a carousel. Black high tops, okay? Now, 
there I am shining my new sneakers because I was supposed to be grateful that I got new sneakers. Okay. Now, I didn't realize how cheap they were until I was on the playground. Now, there I am trying to get some traction. It's not working. Then all of a sudden, I hit top speed. I'm doing 65 miles an hour. When I realized how cheap they were, it was because they were plastic bottoms. They weren't rubber. So you can just imagine my surprise as I was heading right into a tree, and boom, not crushed. Thanks, Dad. Really appreciate your love, okay? Now, just to let you know another thing here. My father used to work for Drake's Bakery, okay? Now, we all thought, wow, he came home one day with a big bag of Drake's cakes. Okay, we thought we hit lottery. The foster children to get cakes. Yeah. Okay. Now, what we didn't realize until we got older was there's expiration dates on it. Right? Okay, let me explain something to you. The cakes that he brought home, because he was such a cheap bastard, we used to get 50 cents on the dollar. Me and my brother were like, wow, this is great. No, it wasn't great, because they were two and three weeks old. These were the cakes the store sent back. That's what we ate. So once again, Father, I can feel the love. <laughs> now, the best part of this is one time after that, he started working in the bank. Now, I don't know where anybody came up with government cheese. Now, did you ever see government cheese? Okay, most people have government cheese or on the welfare. We weren't on the welfare, but he had government cheese. Okay? Did you ever try to eat government cheese? It's in a box. Okay? It doesn't melt, and sometimes when I ate it, it crunched. <laughs> now, I'm like, you know, I, we gotta get out of this. So I knew at that stage I had to get a job, I had to make money to make myself happen. Alright? Now, so what I do is, I'm young, I'm trying to get laid, because that's what we all do at 18 years old. I'm trying to get my whole car. Get a new car, right? My brother-in-law says, let me borrow your car. I said, no problem. Seven hours later, boom, told the car, I have no mode of transportation, right? Okay, this is what happens next. Tell my friend that, he goes, hey, I got a moped. I go, you got a moped? I said, all right, no problem. Gotta get to work, I'm gonna get to work. All right, so now, remember, it's the middle of the winter, okay? Pick up the moped I have at home. Now, I didn't realize it snowed the night before, so I'm like, hmm, all right, this is gonna be difficult. Now, picture this scene, okay? okay. This is gonna be great, it's gonna be great. Okay, so there I am, white helmet, white helmet, goggles, Ski gloves, and the best was I had a blanket over the moped. <laughs> Why did you have a blanket over the moped, Mike? Because it was friggin' cold. So there I am on the road. I'm going. All right, you ready here? <laughs> Made through the first light. I said, okay, no slippage. This is great. You've got to remember, snow the night before. Roads weren't that great. Okay? Then I realized, wait a minute. I have a right turn, a left turn, a right turn. Okay. Made it through the first right turn. <laughs> Made your left one. <laughs> Now the last one I did, all of a sudden I go, oh no, oh no, the back wheel starts slipping and I start going, oh my god. Now normally it wouldn't be a big deal because you can usually put your foot down, okay? That's not what happened because the blanket was wrapped around my leg. So here I am, and crash. To make it all worse, car drives by with four hot girls in it. What do they do? <laughs> they look, laugh, and go, loser! Anyway, my name is Mike. My time's up. Welcome to my world.